Russia's northern fleet may strike Britain with nuclear missiles, Kremlin propagandist. A Kremlin propagandist has said which European cities might be targeted by Russian nuclear missiles, adding that the UK would be the most vulnerable to such strikes. Yevgeny Popov is among the anchors and guests on Russia's state television who have made repeated threats against Western countries for their support of Ukraine in its fight against Russian President Vladimir Putin's aggression, according to Newsweek. It is noted that this hawkish rhetoric frequently includes calls for missile strikes on European capitals, although the effects of Russia's use of weapons may be exaggerated and it is not clear how the claims by TV guests reflect Kremlin thinking. However, Popov returned to this theme in reacting to the pledge by Washington and Berlin that, as part of its commitment to NATO, the US will start deploying long-range missiles in Germany in 2026. This would include stationing SM-6 and Tomahawk cruise missiles, as well as developmental hypersonic weapons. In a clip posted on X by Ukrainian internal affairs advisor Anton Gerashchenko, Popov, who is a deputy of the 8th State Duma in Russia, accused the US of throwing Europe into the melting pot of a world war with guaranteed mutual destruction. Standing in front of a video wall of a map of Europe, Popov said that the Pentagon will deploy missiles that pose a dire threat to Russia. He added that the weapons have the ability to reach cities such as St. Petersburg, Kazan, Moscow, Novosibirsk and Yekaterinburg, whose locations lit up on the screen behind him. We are talking about missiles that fall under the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, which was destroyed by Trump, Popov said, referring to how the US withdrew from the Arms Control Treaty in 2019. It is not difficult to assume the geography of a response if the White House press statement becomes a reality. All European capitals are at risk if our missiles are in Kaliningrad, Popov said, referring to the Russian exclave that is bordered by NATO's members Poland and Lithuania in the Baltic Sea. These capitals include Berlin in Germany, Warsaw, Poland, Paris, France, Bucharest, Romania and Prague, Czech Republic, as well as American bases in Germany, which are then shown on the screen in quick succession. Popov said that Russia's northern fleet will take on Britain, our traditional enemy, and that Washington's proposals for deployment to Germany not only threatens London but also Manchester, Birmingham and British naval base in Clyde, Scotland. The heavy flood that occurred in the state of Arkansas, USA, caused serious damage to buildings and infrastructure. The local government was informed about this. It was emphasized that the situation is serious and urgent measures are being taken. The main reason for the natural disaster is the incessant rains that have fallen in recent days. Water rescues were underway in Arkansas after a new wave of severe storms that have pummeled a vast swath of the US and Canada, officials said. High winds, tornadoes and flooding have caused damage or deaths from the plains to New England. Numerous bridges across the area are washed out with water rescues that are taking place, the Weather Service said. Evacuations are taking place as significant rising water is inside of homes and businesses. The flood emergency, which has since been downgraded to an area flood warning as there is no longer immediate threat to life or property affected about 3,867 people in Marion County, near the state's border with Missouri. The alert included residents of the city of Yellville, where rain had fallen in 12 hours, according to forecasters at the Weather Service office in Little Rock, Arkansas flooding still remains in much of the area, according the National Weather Service. Storms toppled trees and damaged homes around Keene, New Hampshire. Storms also caused damage in upstate New York. Around Toronto, flooding temporarily closed several major roads, the Canadian press reported. Images circulating on social networks show cars floating in water and bridges collapsing. It was emphasized that 10 people were evacuated from the local administration. So far, there is no information about the injured or the missing. However, it was emphasized that the scale of material damage is large. It should be noted that a day ago, the Canadian city of Toronto was also enslaved by a natural disaster. As a result of heavy rains, several districts of the city were flooded.